Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another over Frankish's Lager. This one is from Brauerei Greifenklau, located in Bamberg, which is the town that is having the most breweries uh, in Oberfranken. And yeah, there's quite many breweries from this town. Uh, for example, Spezial, Heller, Schlenkerla, Fessler, Kiesmann, um, and yeah quite many breweries from this town and this is one of them, Greifenklau and it comes in this NRW bottle as you can see this is the lager that I'm having to review that I've been choosing to review I have the Keller beer also from this brew uh, it's possible to order from the Landbier Paradis webshop so uh, that's easy for it to do if you want to do that there's top cap of tradition privat and no back label here is a closer look at the top label as you can see lager um, and the crown and here is the main label of this brewer's label Brauerei Gaststätte Biergarten Greifenklau and here is the uh, logo of this brewery I'm gonna read through the information from this label later on in the review but um, this is what it looks like, quite easy looking label in my opinion. Um, so, um, yeah, it looks like this Hovrei Greifenklau. And, um, yeah, let's start with open up the bottle. Always right time for Noble Frankisches lager in my opinion. And it's also not that easy to know if it's gonna be a pale or a more balanced and colored. Uh, Lager, but let's find out. Open up the bottle and pour it up into the um, for the best cell wheel fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass. Um, I can see already that just as I expected, it's um, not a very, very pale one, it's more of a, of a little bit belt and colored. One, just as I thought, because that's what a lager maybe mainly is in all the Franken, but it looks really nice, as you can see, a very nice foam crown, two, fin two finger thick white foam crown, which is important to put up and maintain all the way through, it keeps the right taste in the glass. Now, let's get the aroma, which is very fresh, of course, this is a great uh, fresh um, tastes which is a little bit like something between a Landbeer, a Bernstein Landbeer and a Kellerbeer but freshness is really really great so let's give it a try before the head disappears the Greifenklau Lager Hoss yeah great of course not bad at all. This reminds me a little bit of the Brauerei Reichold Hochstahl uh, lager that I did review quite early, um, which also was really great. This one is also, in my opinion, tasting really great. It has the typical, as I used to describe it, Bernstein lager freshness from Oberfranken. Franken. Um, if you've been trying Bernstein colored lagers from Oval Funky, you might know what I'm talking about. Really, really well balanced and really fresh in taste. A big recommendation, of course. Um, Color-wise, really um, beautiful, dark, golden color, I would say. and nice just the way it should be big recommendation of course now over to um, the label let's take a close look at the Greifenklau label what does it say alcohol content 4.9 percent volume Zutaten Hopfen Brauwasser Gerste Malz Getreu dem Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot von 1516 Greifenklau Brauerei Gaststätte Biergarten Seit 1719. 
gepflegt, fränkisch, hergestellt für Familie Sigmund Brockard, Pravai Greifen Klau, GmbH, Laurentiplatz 296049, Bamberg. That's the information on the, uh, on the main label of this uh, Greifen Klau. Very easy and nice looking uh, label and that's what I like because it shows that the brewery cares more about um, brewing good beers instead of creating fancy labels and websites and everything like that. Uh, still this is a great blogger in my opinion, great um, example of the style and of course a big recommendation by me. As you might know if you've gone following my channel, you um, might remember that I do like to uh, take a look at the books that I'm having about from Penny Brewers uh, during my reviews. That's why I want to uh, take a look at how the brew is looking like and read some history and information about it and so on. We can um, see for example right here in this book, there is a picture of this. Brewery Greifenklau that I'm reviewing uh, from today. Greifenklau Sigmund Brockard. Greifenklau DE is the link to the, to the Brewers website, which I'll cross link to the description box below as always. Gipfleget Frankish, site 1719. Um, Hier Lager, Season 1 Bockbier im Herbst. Meist getrunken Lager. Annual output, uh, output 1000 hectoliters. <laughs> Brauerei Gaststätte. Okay, uh, that was the information from that book. <laughs> now, I do also have um, another book about Frank Cunningham which is this one right here. Here you can see Kovai Life and Klau looking like this. And the information is from 1719. Sigmund Brockard 990 uh, Hector Kurs. Sigmund und Sigmund. Das sind Vater und Sohn Brockard. Die beide am Sudkessel ihren Mann stehen. Sie haben das Glück mit ihrer Brauerei ein bisschen über dem Ges Geschehen in der Domstadt stehen können, zumindest räumlich, denn auf dem Kaulberg gibt es äh, ausnahmsweise mal keine weitere Brauerei nebenan. Der Greifenklau hat eine große Fangemeinde, insbesondere zum Bockbier Anstisch oder zur äh, Laurenzi Kerva, zweiter Sonntag im August. Bleibt hier keine Kehle trocken. Kein Wunder, dass gute Bier läuft und läuft und läuft. <lacht> äh, Biersorten Lager und Weißen. Der Klassiker Lager. Greifen Klau DE ist der Link to the Brewers Website. Uh, and uh, that's the information that I'm having about this brewery. Greifen Klau. Of course, I'll link to the Brewers website in the description box below, as I mentioned, as always. So I really hope that you're gonna take your time to uh, to check out that uh, website, of course. This is a great brew, of course. Yeah. Really nice. This Dreifen uh, Klau, in my opinion. Um, but uh, that's it for now. That's the Brauerei Dreifen Klau Bamberg Lager. Hope you like my views and see you again in the next Franconian review.